back with the Holly Stern Show. Stutter and John was telling me he saw that Jeffrey Dahmer uh, TV show last night. The day, uh, door day one show. Yeah, with Stone Phillips interviewed Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah. Gary said. You can't believe it, but Stone Phillips actually made Jeffrey Dahmer boring. <laughs> it was like what? he didn't get anything cool out of it. I don't know. I saw Stone Phillips doing some clips of that thing on the uh, Channel 4 News. Yeah. The 5 o'clock news. It looked kind of interesting. I mean, it was like sickening. You're, lo you're looking at Dahmer, and he's being treated like Barbara Walters treats, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, the head of state. You know what I but mean? But that's what I say about these interviews. They're all bad because yep. they sit down. And where Stone Phillips would say to you, now, Howard, right. some of the things you say are outrageous. Right. <laughs> you know, he he challenged me. He challenged me. He goes, uh, what was uh, eating the bodies about? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and that's a great question. They, they, I mean, <laughs> how many people do you know interviewed on TV? Is it, um, <laughs> so tell me, did you get aroused when you ate these people? <laughs> oh, yes. And, and the guy's, I mean, yeah, of course he's weird, but <laughs> he's like really <laughs> annoyingly weird. You could see why he had to eat people and kill them. There's just no way you could hang around with a guy like this. He's like, yeah. uh... He's one of those guys who annoyingly just does us way too much, and he does it in a weird way. He's like, yeah, it's like so much is going on in his mind, he uh, can't get out a sentence without eyeing uh, between every uh, word. Yeah, he's like, uh, do we have that quote from him from yesterday's news? Freddie played one of them this morning. Yeah. Uh, 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 he goes, well, uh, oh, here it is. Cool. As time went on. Uh, yes, I, I did get a, there was a sexual part, part to that. Yeah. Uh, I started saving the, the skeletons. <laughs> yeah. And... And he's got, like, chapped lips, and he, 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 I don't know about you guys, when I watch a guy like that, it's something about, like, his foul breath, you know, he's got yeah. demon breath. He got fat. He's yeah, he got really fat. fat. Is yeah, well, that right? He's eating normal. <laughs> people keep you thin. I guess yeah. people are low fat. I bet you even the guys from Nambler are going, ew. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? He makes them sick. Yeah. He's not proud to be a cannibal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there'll be a cannibal organization one day, you know, talking about how, you know. They have rights, too. Yeah, like we have a right to eat people. Hello. As, long as, they, as long as they're into it also. They were coming on to me. Yeah. They wanted to be eaten. Serving <laughs> other parts. And uh, uh, one thing led to another. It took It took more and more... Uh, uh, deviant type behaviors to uh, satisfy uh, my uh, urges, my and so I just uh, spiraled out of control. Hmm. You know what? Had he gone on to more weird things, I wonder how much further it would have gone. I mean, he needed more and more weird things yeah. to satisfy his urges. Like so far, he was up to eating your heart and drilling holes in your skull. Like you know, what would be next? Like, what more could you do to a guy? Well, I think the zombie thing was about it, don't what, you? What was that? Well, that's what the drilling the holes were. Oh. He was trying to create zombies. Mm. So that he could keep, so that that keep he them alive. Could keep them, and they'd be alive. Slaves. And they wouldn't run away. Love slaves. Yeah. It, 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 it would also mummify their heads and genitals. Yeah. You know, put them in boxes. Did he? He mummified their heads and genitals? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he didn't get... Oh, well, you see him mummify my genitals. <laughs> he didn't try and find them. He didn't get off on the killing. The killing was the hard part. Right. The eating was the sexual part. Right. Yeah, well, I could see that. <laughs> that makes total sense. I could see killing being more sexual than eating. Well, the real his father was a really interesting character because they interviewed the father for a while, and then they... Yeah, now, that was weird. I saw that on Stone Phillips. The Jeffrey Dahmer's dad... Yeah, what's he like? Well, like, he's sitting next to him like the proud father, but, oh. you know, he's talking about how, he, you know, he sort of... His whole angle is, I can't believe... I couldn't tell that my son was this sick. You know, he's kind of blown out by it, but he says, but, you know, I sort of had my own sick thoughts, I guess. But then when it comes down to it, he didn't really have, I mean, his sick thoughts was that one time he felt like he wanted to kill somebody, but like, sort of like a passing feeling, like right. someone who had been mean to him or yeah. something. Bully. Yeah, bully. And then, uh, I mean, that that's hardly qualifies as sick. And then he hey. says that the wife... That, that he thought that uh, his wife took some drugs when she was pregnant with Jeffrey because she was having seizures. <laughs> Might be it. So, of course, they go back to the wife, and she says, I don't know anything about any seizures. See, they got divorced. Yeah. So the wife thinks that he made up the seizure story to blame her right. for Jeffrey being nuts. Right, right. Anything but the fact that he left her and... 
And they never saw him killing the animals and all that stuff that he was doing when he was a kid. As far as I could tell, now I didn't see the interview. I just saw like portions of it. It seemed to me that the dad had no clue that Jeffrey was out in the backyard killing animals. The father said he was shocked to find out at the trial that when Jeffrey was 14 and 15, he used to go and collect road kills and hefty trash bags, you know, foxes and squirrels. And bring him home and cut him up to look at him. Jeffrey Dahmer did say his dad almost caught him once. Right. Now, what was that all about? That was with he, the box. He had a, what box? They yeah. called it. He goes, oh, there was the box incident. That's uh, what Jeffrey called it. Uh, yeah, he calls it the box incident. Because they say there was at one point Jeffrey almost was discovered by his father. And Jeffrey keeps referring to the box incident. Like, we're all supposed to know what the box right. incident is. Yeah. And we're all caught up in his sick yeah. world. That's when there was the mummified head and genitals. And, and the father kept saying, open the box, open the box. And Jeffrey wouldn't open it. <laughs> so they had a big argument over it, really big argument over it, and uh, then the father said, I don't know what's in that box, you know, I don't care, just get rid of it by tomorrow. <laughs> I think the father probably thought there were drugs in there. Where did he find the box? It was just in his in his small apartment, but right. he didn't know what it was, and it seemed to be really important to Jeffrey. Yeah, well, then, it is, I mean, so then mummified when, genitals. When Jeffrey was done with the interview, he gets up to walk away. I mean, I, be, I, I can't imagine how embarrassing it must be to be caught masturbating, let alone... You know, With getting mummified, caught mummified genitals. genitals and skulls. <laughs> well, his father would, would never accept homosexuality either. That's what his no. father said. Homosexuality oh, would have been delightful compared to what he's doing. It's all his dad's fault. <laughs> but, no, just... My dad wasn't accepting of my lifestyle. <laughs> at, at the very end of the interview, yeah. Dahmer gets up to walk away, and you know he's taking off his microphone and, every, and everything, and he goes, Oh, by the way, see that box over there? It was like one of the cases that you carry camera equipment in. Yeah. That's what the box looked like. Oh, great. Oh, he's thanks. still into that whole... Yeah, the box. Yeah. Oh, yeah I, I'm sure you let him out tomorrow, he would feel no right remorse. Right back into and it. The other great... Uh, the other Sickening great, to look at him. The other great fact is um, he d he stopped taking his Prozac because he felt that, you know, it's just he is who he is. Nothing's going to make him better. Right. And by the way, he likes to be called Jeff. You're right. right. Oh, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> he was like, oh, please... No, no, Jeffrey, Jeff. <laughs> but yeah, the media has it wrong. See, I don't understand how you can sit across from these people and interview them. Yeah, it must be pretty wild. You know, well, if you're sitting there listening to him talk about dismembering other human beings and eating their well, hearts. Well, they rationalize it by saying, you know, it's important. So, you, know, you know the old saying, you know. It's important so that we can learn about it. Like, there's ever going to be another one just like him. But meanwhile, you're outrageous, you're ridiculous, you're offensive, you're everything. Yeah. Well, it's real weird. I was thinking, like, I got into one of my sort of thinking jags. I try to take the Prozac to keep me from thinking, but <laughs> it helps the it's, pain. You are who you are. I said, how many times have you seen throughout history guys killing people in the name of God? And screaming out, you know, religious fanaticism. Like, a lot of people flip out on all this religious stuff. Mm -hmm. So why aren't people screaming that religion should be done away with, as well as TV violence? Right, absolutely. Because, you know how many people have killed and killed and killed? Like, the guys walk into McDonald's and start shooting the place up, screaming, you know, Jesus, Jesus. Typical example, the guy who killed the abortion doctor who right. was just convicted. In the name of God. Yet, no, you know, why don't we ban that offensive stuff? If we're going to uh, ban uh, people, I have never heard a guy walk into a McDonald's screaming penis or vagina <laughs> and shooting the place up. <laughs> I don't know. It's just weird. It's just so weird. Hey, I, before we get to Stuttering John's Nambler stuff, and it is good, we're going to have fun this morning. I'm trying to time this all out because I know Lennox Lewis is going to come in and stuff. But Yeah, but I just got to say one more thing about this. Rem I remember the, the most incredible question I ever heard asked of a murderer was when uh, Barbara Walters interviewed Jean Harris. Yeah. She leaned in real close and she said, what can you tell us? What have you learned <laughs> from this experience? Well, what have they learned? Don't do it. Don't do it? No. no they that learned not to caught. do it. Show your father the box. <laughs> <laughs> what she had uh, learned was to be, to not rely on a man now. After oh. she killed him and sat in jail for 15 years. I got you. That's what she learned. 15 years, hard but time. The, the thought that somebody is asking a murderess what she's got to pass on. I can't believe how many people wanted Jean Harris out of jail. Like, they felt bad for her. Here she killed this guy, this doctor. And and they like they, they wanted her out of jail. I don't understand that. Like, like, why would that become your passion in life? She's a nice lady. She's teaching the other prisoners. Oh, yeah, she's not dangerous to anybody else. So what's Dahmer doing in prison these days, does he say? Uh, he's just hanging around, but the... the he's just hanging around. The interesting aspect of the interview last night <laughs> yeah. was that, you know, you talk about a dysfunctional family. Yeah. Through this whole thing, the father has stuck by him. They've never discussed anything about the case okay. really? at all. So, of course, Stone gets him there last night. And, and let's like, talk. And he's like, let's talk. They're doing, like, roundtable discussion. And he gets, uh, you know, 
the father starts to ask Jeff, well, why did you do this? And that was sort of interesting. Yeah. Why did you do that? Why did you do that? I did that because I had to. Did you have to chop them up? The voices in my head. Uh... I'm sorry, Jeffrey Dahmer should be dead. Yeah. Hey, so, please, absolutely. There should be no interviewing. So, da so did you see that Dahmer's dad wrote a book? He wrote the book. I think he. I think, you know, it was sort of therapy for him. Yeah, but he good. said he's giving a portion, portion. of the proceeds to. Right, exactly. A portion. A portion of the proceeds to uh, the victims, but uh, two of them have already sued him. Good. To the victims' family. And, and the mom's writing in the process of writing a book. She's writing a book too. She got her own book. Yeah. She's bumming that his was out first. <sighs> Gee, I wish I knew him. I could write a book. Uh, I'm looking for a sequel. <laughs> If only I had known And him. you don't think that does more to promote yeah. serial killers? Oh, absolutely. Because all these guys will tell you, yeah, I did it to be famous. Yeah, most of them. Well, I think Dahmer was doing it because he really got sexual pleasure. I think he's one of those well, rare individuals. Well, it's a power thing, and now he's one of the most powerful people in the world. Look, Stone Phillips comes to you know, uh, they, interview him. They play tape of Dahmer, like, you know, just after he killed a few people when he was at, a, at, at like, a family gathering. Yeah. Talks the same way. He's like, yeah. I uh, went to McDonald's. But yeah. it's too expensive. I have to go go somewhere else. And nobody knew that anything was wrong. <laughs> you gotta say yeah, I have relatives who talk like that, <laughs> to be honest. What's Anybody who talks like that should be hit in the face with a shovel. No. Hey, who got the uh, <laughs> who got the um, who got the father's book? Judith Regan. <laughs> no. I'm Who's the right. editor? Random House. The Pinnacle. All right. Judith Regan, Regan isn't dating Lionel Dimer, is she? Not yet. I hope so. I mean, I hope not. It would be wrong in anyone's book. All right. Lionel Dahmer, was he wearing a hairpiece? <laughs> no, they looked exactly alike, him and Jeff. Yeah, nice looking couple. <laughs> a couple of guys talking about some mass murder. But um, i got to take a break. Then I, I'm going to play the Nambla tape for you. you got to hear this. Stuttering John at a big Nambla press conference. Then we have... Uh, what did those people look like? Oh, I'll tell you the whole thing. I've actually seen some of them in the movie. I saw ten minutes of it. And then... Um, One of them's too big a fan. Yeah, I know. It's funny. <laughs> what? I, I heard the tape. Oh, no. some of the, two of the guys from Nambla are big fans of the show. <laughs> it's great. Now I feel bad about my own work. Yeah, it was pretty funny. <laughs> Jackie is our favorite. <laughs> we love the Jackie jokes. He's very funny. We've seen him at Chuckles twice. We it's go to nice. some the joke man. <laughs> he puts the kids in a good mood. You're we keep Jackie... Uh, yeah. what? No, they're, they're big fans? Oh, no, they're big fans. Oh. <laughs> Jackie thinks they went to Chuckles. <laughs> I would have given him a free T-shirt. <laughs> Can't be free. They're good they guys. They told me they were in the audience. <laughs> yeah, I would have given him my free cassette. <laughs> you never know where your next job is coming from. I would have introduced him. <laughs> <laughs> Man, they weren't, you know, the funny thing is, oh, the right. thing, they weren't such bad guys. You know, they were the guys. <laughs> I mean, you know. <laughs> I had him over to my house. <laughs> for the barbecue. <laughs> you know what I served them? Shrimp. <laughs> All right, let's take a break. I got to read you the. Uh, you know, I was in Rolling Stone magazine on the cover a couple of uh, weeks ago, yeah. and now the letters have come in about my. Oh, is that right? <laughs> about my cover. Also, a lot of interesting comments from your Reuters interview. Yeah, we'll have to read those too. I'm, I think I made some of it up. <laughs> anyway, uh, we'll be 